Hi, I'm Sam. I'm an artist from Dallas, Texas, and here on my channel, I make art, rugs, and whatever else comes to mind. And this week, I'm gonna show you why you really do need a miniature tufting frame, and I'm gonna make one of those rug mirrors from TikTok. When I first started tufting, I got the starter kit from tuftinggun.com, which comes with a two foot by two foot frame. When I outgrew that and wanted to make larger pieces, I didn't have space for an eight foot frame at my house, so I just made a two foot by three foot. Later on, when I started my web shop and I was making small wall rugs to order, I wanted a way to do a single order instead of having to wait for them to pile up so that I could fill a larger frame. And thus, the 14 inch miniature tufting frame was born. Not only is it perfect for making one-off pieces, it allows me to use any smaller scraps of backing fabric that I have left over from larger projects. This weird scrap of just like random fabric, but it's perfect on this frame. Strips like this are perfect if you do like punch needling. Um, you can definitely fit these on like small hoops. So there's no really no reason to waste fabric, especially if you're using like the actual primary tufting cloth. This stuff can get really expensive. So definitely get the most for your money. And since this is a 12 inch mirror, it's perfect for this, as you can see basically the perfect size. This frame is 14 by 14. So I really wouldn't do anything bigger than a 12 by 12. That gives you an inch of space all the way around so you're not butting your gun too close up to the side of the frame. You've still got a little bit of space, a little bit of room uh, to maneuver. So yeah, I'm gonna use this to measure exactly the size circle that I want. That way, I know it will for sure fit on here. I'm sure there's some imperfections. Hello. That's soup on my chin, awesome. Yeesh. Wipe your face, Sam. All right, so there we have our design. I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm gonna have these free edges of the mirror, pretty open. The color I've decided to go with is this really beautiful purple. I think that'll look really luxe on. So yeah, that took maybe seven to 10 minutes worth of tufting and that's being generous and I'm already done. I can glue this, let it dry and have this whole piece finished by the end of the day. That is really a big benefit of having a small mini frame. You can use these awkward bits of fabric that you have left over from your larger frames and you don't have to wait until you've finished an entire two foot by three foot frame or a six foot frame and got it all filled up before you take a piece off. I'm already done, this is it. I don't have to worry about anything else. So I'm gonna get this glued and I'll show you another way that I make that process go a bit faster as well.
So I've got it all glued. And this bad boy is my secret weapon. I know I'm hardly the first person to come up with putting a fan on their pieces. But if you got one, absolutely use it. It makes the glue dry so much faster. This Robert's latex dries okay. Usually I leave it to sit overnight. But when I put a fan on it, I can get it done dried in under two hours, especially for a small piece like this. So if you got a fan, you might want to use that. The process for making these rug mirrors is almost the exact same way as you would any other piece except for when you get to the final step. So it's tufted, glued, finished, you want to tuck the edges in the back, all of that jazz. It's just instead of adding a you know, felt to the back or using a rug pad, we're going to put it on a mirror instead. So there you have it. Are those fancy TikTok mirrors really something you can DIY? Yes, yes they are. Rug tufting is an amazing medium and it is so much fun to see all of the new things that we can make with it. And I hope my take on a miniature frame helps you give new life to all those scraps of backing fabric you have piling up. If you liked my take on tufted mirrors and would like to support me and my channel, they're available right now at sammadethat.com. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider checking out my last video on how I made 22 rugs in 48 hours for my first pop-up shop, or subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post my next one. As always, no matter what you do, you don't gotta make it perfect. You just have to make progress. I'm Sam, I made that, and you should make something too. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Cut and print, beautiful everybody. Everybody, I mean.